This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. During this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can spawn objects at the mouse position. So just to demonstrate what the result we'll be looking at, we're going to be spawning different objects in the given mouse position. And as you can see, the objects are spawned above the ground and as you would expect, you can spawn wherever you want so it's not only on the floor you can spawn them on top of each other you can spawn them maybe here or maybe on the position okay so that's a part of a different tutorial so ignore that and that you're going to be only needing one script with 30 lines of code that's all you're going to need and also an object to be spawning for my, my tutorial i'm just going to be using a simple sphere object with some material on it and you need to include this in a resources folder so uh, in order to find that in your script, you need to include that in a folder named resources and then just name it whatever you want, do whatever you want with it. You can spawn whatever you want. I'm just going to use sphere. Okay, so I have a player manager script here. You can name your script whatever you want. And in this script, in just 30 lines, we're going to be spawning our sphere. So first of all, we need a variable that will hold the game object that we're going to be spawning and then lo loading that up through the resources class and i'm loading a game object type the object and then uh finding it through its name so my uh object is named sphere so i'm looking for the sphere and also i have a camera variable which i'm also finding through the find with tag and the tag of the camera is main camera and then getting the component of the camera that's all you need to do in the start function and then in the update function we're going to be checking if the key down of the my mouse zero is down. So this will turn true if the left click of the mouse is pressed. And if that's true, we're going to enter the if statement and then create a ray variable, which is essentially is just a line between two points and an infinite line between two points. And this line will be starting from the camera's position up to the input mouse position so up to our mouse position and then we're going to be creating a ray cast hit variable and this will be uh, helping us track uh, our hit when the ray hits something for example because i might be for example hitting somewhere that it's empty so for example if i cl uh, click here my ray won't be hitting anything so that will be null and empty so we need to be checking if the uh, mouse position is clicking on something and I'm actually uh, I can find that in my script. So I'm going to check if uh, I cast a ray cast So if my line is hitting a position or something on my world and then I'm passing in the ray or the line as you can think of it and then also the ray cast with an out uh, property which will essentially be returned and if there uh, ray hit something this will contain different type of information for our hit and the ray cast function will return true if it hit something if it didn't hit something it will turn false and will never enter this if statement if it did uh, uh, hit something it will turn true we'll enter this uh, if statement and then we can get the uh, object that we hit so getting the object through the ray hit that we've created above as i said it contains different information and this is going to be the position uh, and the transform essentially of the game object that we hit and this will be used to uh, get the position of that uh, location and then if that hit is not empty so if our uh, object that we hit is not empty it means that we hit something we're going to be getting the position of that so getting the position that we got here through the ray hit and this is a vector 3 same as a transform and then to populate this we're going to be uh we will have already populated here but we need to push it above the ground so this will be on top of exactly the spot that we've uh hit the object so it will when we're trying to spawn it it will spawn it within the object and that will, will look nice so we're just going to be pushing it up uh, using the vector 3 up which is just 0 1 0 vector in order to only affect the y-axis and then multiplying it by the transform scale of the, our object that we're trying to spawn 
So this will take into account the scale of our object and then we're dividing it by zero. So this will ensure that our object is always being spawned above the ground. And then we're going to instantiate this uh, object. So instantiating the object that we loaded here at the position that we got here and here. And then we're just going to use quaternion identity, which is gives no uh, rotation and gives us this uh, result that we saw before. So just to run this again and demonstrate how this looks, you can see it spawns above the ground. And to demonstrate the difference between this, if I were to comment this out and show you what the difference would look like, I'll just save that real quick and run it again. You will see that uh, the object will be spawned within the ground. So that's why I'm pushing it a bit upwards. So it's not spawned within the objects because we don't want that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and see you during the next time. Goodbye. Want to become a professional game developer? I designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal. Make sure to check the link in the description for more information.